Okay, hey, um, I have a bunch of updates actually. I, uh, as you can tell, I got my hair cut. Um, it was, I got a foot cut off and I haven't mailed it in yet, but I'm either going to send it to Locks of Love or, um, Pantene has a program also. Um, I'm going to read the details. They're in PDF files, so I need to go to my school library and look it up because my computer's weird. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a video on that because I was in a very tight situation and wasn't sure if I was going to be able to donate this time because of how it was cut and I've, I've never seen anyone do it this way before so I'm going to do a video on that. Also I got Invisalign this past weekend. You can't tell but um, I have a lisp now. You'll notice it throughout but um, it's good so far. I mean I, I just started on Monday. So, or Tuesday, whatever. So, um, we'll see what happens. But this video is a product comparison and product review, which, um, I just bought them, so I guess it's a mini haul, but still, more product review. The first one, um, is Girls Deodorant. I mean, I was not loving the one that I was using so much, so I bought another one and I figured I'd compare them, um, instead of only using one at a time and waiting till one was done. So, the one that I usually use is Ban Vanilla vanilla Flavored. Um, it smells really good. Ban looks like this. It's light green. You can't really tell because the light stinks. But um, I use the solid. The liquid one, the Ban does have a liquid. Um, it's in a really thin tube, and it's got a rolly ball thing with it. And the side of it, like, it wasn't like this, but there were the seams, not sewn obviously, but plastic, where it was put together on the side, and it cracked, so the ball was like rolling everywhere, and the liquid was getting out, and it was ridiculous, so I really liked when the liquid worked better, but I like the sol I like solid deodorant better, so um, I like it, I really like the scent, but I bought... The, and Van I've used for years, and I probably shouldn't have because this new stuff is phenomenal. I got Dove. I'm going to turn a light on. That's too bright, but you can see it. Dove Ultimate Go Fresh Cool Essentials. This is cucumber and green tea scent. Um, there's also peach, and there's a couple others, but um, this is also a solid. I really like the scent. And it works better. This is antiperspirant deodorant, and they're both um, antiperspirant and deodorant. Um, but I notice this is gonna sound gross, but the sweat's covered more. Like I don't sweat nearly as much with Dove as I do Ban. So I would highly recommend Dove. And maybe when I finish the Ban and I just have Dove, I may try another brand. I may stick with Dove. I don't really know. But um, I do like Ban. But I would highly recommend Dove deodorant. Um, I really like it. I mean, I know some girls use guys deodorant, and I know some guys use girl deodorant. So take it into consideration. I know it's weird, but don't completely rule it out. Okay, completely unrelated. The next product. I got a hair straightener when I got my hair cut. Um, my hair is not straightened right now, but I've straightened it plenty of times. Um, probably too much considering I just got it done less than a week ago. Um... This one's purple. It I can't remember the model number. It ends in 30. There's a 31 that has um, wider palettes. I can't think of the word. Plates. But yeah. Um, both of them have this little part in here. It's The switches are protected. Um, that little... Uh, wrong side. That little knob, that's the on-off. And this little wheel thing that I'm turning, it goes from 1 to 30... And it has a little paper in the directions that tells you what heat level is best for um, short thin, short thick, medium, um, long hair and thick, curly. Um, it has like what heat level you should use. And I really like it. Um, oh, this is Revlon, by the way. This $30. I got it at Ulta. Um, I had a Conair one before that I haven't used in years. But when I did use it... Um, I remember, like, I was in middle school when I first got it, and I liked it, 
but I mean now that I'm actually you know I, I it didn't work as well as other ones did so I decided I'd put the money into it um one thing I really liked about this was it came with this case that you can put it in um there's that and then it says not to but I wrap the cord around it you know whatever it says Revlon on it it's lavender where am I going there and um when you're straightening your hair you can set it on there because the heat so I'll put this on my counter and if I need to like comb something I'll just set it down um I would highly recommend this like I've only ever used Conair before for hair straighteners and I've used friends but it was just like you know one time thing so I don't know um but I would highly recommend it. It works really well in my hair. I love it. Um, and I have pretty thick hair no matter what length. But um, I really like it. So with that, I also got hairspray. And this is the, uh, from the John Frieda collection. Frizzy's Moisture Burial Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. Um, creates an instant style supporting barrier. Helps seal out humidity and combats frizz, rain, or shine. So, um... I've heard very good things about John Frieda, and I hate hairspray that, like, um, another brand has got to be that if you put, if you spray it, your hair will be, like, stuck there forever. I still like being able to run my hands through it, so I spray this very lightly on the edges where I need it to stay straight, and I can still run my hands through it because I play with my hair a lot. And I love it. Like, I'm not, I'm never big on hairspray. The only time I've used hairspray a lot is if I was in a show and I really, or, you know, a really special occasion or something, prom, whatever. But, um, I really like this. Um, so I would recommend it. I also got this at Ulta and I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive because I don't have money. But, um, yeah, so Revlon Hair Straightener, John Frieda, um, hairspray, and Dove Deodorant highly recommend. Go check it out. Um, so I hope you all like this and any suggestions, let me know. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend coming up and I'll talk to you later. Bye.